Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Drones and unmanned aerial vehicles have transformed modern warfare, offering unparalleled eyes in the sky for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. At the forefront is the RQ-4 Global Hawk, a marvel of technology created by Northrop Grumman. Since its debut in 2001, this high-flying Sentinel has been a game-changer for the United States Air Force. Equipped with a sophisticated synthetic aperture radar and electric optical infrared sensors, the Global Hawk can loiter high above a target area for extended periods, delivering critical data back to commanders. This capability not only sharpens the accuracy of weapon strikes, but also significantly bolsters the safety of troops on the ground. Despite its steep price tag and budget-driven limitations on fleet size, the Global Hawk's contributions to military intelligence are undeniable. Even with its high tech specs, prepping the RQ-4 Global Hawk for a mission isn't much different from getting a traditional aircraft ready to fly. First off, the team checks the weather to ensure conditions are favorable. They then move on to a thorough inspection of the aircraft itself, examining everything from the wheels to the wings and propellers to make sure all parts are functional and safe. Next up is the paperwork. Using the aero pneumonic, the crew double-checks that they have everything they need. The aircraft's registration and airworthiness certificates, radio license, operating limitations, and weight and balance data. Once everything checks out, it's time for taxiing. This is when the Global Hawk moves under its own power, rolling along the taxiways from the hangar to the runway. This isn't about towing or being pushed. It's the Hawk strutting its stuff, making its way to the runway to position itself for takeoff. Nose gear is hyped. You see the rudder beaters go in as it hits takeoff. Once the Global Hawk is ready for its mission, the spotlight shifts to one of its standout features, the mobility of its ground control station. Unlike traditional aircraft that require a pilot in the cockpit, the RQ-4 Global Hawk is piloted remotely from a ground control station that can weigh up to 10,000 pounds. This portable cockpit can be set up quickly and efficiently almost anywhere in the world offering unparalleled flexibility in operations. Designed to endure extreme temperatures, these ground stations allow operators to control the drone's sophisticated systems in real time, ensuring the reconnaissance wing can maintain critical oversight no matter the external conditions.
This capability not only enhances mission adaptability, but also ensures that surveillance operations can be sustained in diverse and challenging environments. While the RQ-4 Global Hawk excels in surveillance, the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper represents a significant advancement in integrating drones into combat roles. Embodying the shift from purely reconnaissance missions to active engagement. Known also as the Predator B, this UAV is powered by a robust 950 shaft horsepower turboprop engine, enabling it to carry 15 times more ordnance and operate at triple the speed of its predecessor, the MQ-1 Predator. Operated from ground control stations that handle everything from navigation to weapon deployment, the MQ-9 is the U.S. Air Force's first drone designed for both high-altitude surveillance and as a hunter-killer, capable of delivering precise strikes. As of 2021, over 300 Reapers are active showcasing enhancements for high-end combat scenarios and signaling a new era where drones like the MQ-9 play a crucial role in modern military strategy by providing persistent, lethal coverage in conflict zones. The MQ-9 Reaper is an advanced version compared to the smaller MQ-1 Predator and is regularly deployed by the U.S. Air Force for missions that push beyond America's borders. Using such high-tech and pricey equipment comes with its own set of risks, especially when these drones fly through international airspace. A remarkable example of these dangers happened on March 14th, 2023, when a routine patrol over the Black Sea turned tense. Two Russian Su-27 jets made a dangerous approach to a U.S. Air Force MQ-9, not only flying too close, but also dumping fuel on it and striking its propeller. This aggressive maneuver forced the drone down into the icy waters of the Black Sea, a stark reminder of the real risks these missions face in hotly contested regions. As we move further into the 21st century, the frontiers of aviation technology are continually expanding, with companies like Boeing at the helm. Boeing is pioneering the development of UAVs that seamlessly collaborate with manned aircraft and other drones during complex combat missions. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray stands out as a stellar example of this innovation. Designed primarily as an aerial refueling drone, the MQ-25 dramatically enhances the operational radius of carrier-based jet fighters, such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the F-35C. This enables these fighters to undertake longer missions without the need to return to their bases for refueling. Launched on September 19, 2019, 
The MQ-25 Stingray marks a significant advancement in blending traditional pilot lead and autonomous flying capabilities. Illustrating the potential for manned and unmanned systems to operate in concert with modern naval operations. This integration not only boosts the effectiveness of current strategies, but also redefines the scope of aerial warfare. Developing advanced aircraft like the MQ-25 Stingray is an intricate and rigorous process that requires extensive testing. At the heart of the Stingray is its Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine, a powerful variant derived from the engine used in the Navy's MQ-4C Triton, capable of delivering 10,000 pounds of thrust. While it's not as stealthy as some of the flying wing UAVs, the MQ-25 features a stealth-focused design with a streamlined fuselage, a flush inlet to help shield the engine blades from radar detection, and a V-tail that enhances its lower visibility profile. Let's dive into the specifics of this remarkable drone. The MQ-25 Stingray measures 51 feet in length and it has a wingspan of 75 feet when extended, which can be reduced to 31.3 feet when folded, making it adaptable for carrier-based operations. The height stands at 9.8 feet with wings extended, soaring to 15.7 feet when folded. Powered by a single Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan, the Stingray packs over 10,000 pounds of thrust. In terms of performance, the Stingray can deliver over 16,000 pounds of fuel across a range of 580 miles, playing a critical role in extending the reach of the fleet's manned aircraft. When it comes to armaments, the MQ-25 is equipped with two underwing hardpoints capable of carrying AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missiles, l RASM for defensive purposes, and it also supports operations with Cobham Aerial Refueling Store, ARS, enhancing its role as a force multiplier in naval aviation. This combination of features makes the MQ-25 not just a tanker, but a pivotal part of modern air combat strategies, reshaping how missions are conducted from aircraft carriers. The U.S. Air Force is steering the future of air combat with its Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA program. Aiming to integrate unmanned combat air vehicles, UCAVs, with next-generation manned aircraft like the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. These CCAs, equipped with advanced AI autonomy packages, are designed to operate in team formations, enhancing survivability and operational flexibility on the battlefield. This innovative approach is expected to significantly reduce costs compared to manned aircraft while maintaining robust defensive capabilities to minimize vulnerability. As part of this ambitious initiative, the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat, a product of Boeing Australia's ingenuity, exemplifies the potential of such technologies. This drone formerly known as the Boeing Air Power Teaming System, serves as a loyal wingman to crewed aircraft. It is capable of performing autonomous missions and supporting a variety of combat tasks. With its modular mission package system, the MQ-28 can switch payloads for different operations, 
including electronic warfare and reconnaissance. Powered by a jet engine, it matches the speed of manned fighters, making it a versatile and crucial component of the integrated combat force. Initially designed and developed in Australia, the Ghost Bat represents a significant leap in combat aircraft technology, marrying AI with advanced aerospace engineering to create a multi-role, stealthy, unmanned aircraft ready to adapt to the rapidly evolving demands of modern warfare. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.